Hi everyone, I'm Professor Tech, and today we're reviewing a Steam Deck dock not made by Valve, but instead a company called Unitech. And we'll be seeing if it works, if it has any issues, and if it's worth the price. Let's go! Hmm. So before we get started, I wanted to say that I received this dock as a review unit, so I have not paid for this item. However, I have not been paid anything by Unitech to say anything specific. So outside of the fact that I received the item for free, I'll be giving my unbiased review, you know, minus the fact that I didn't pay anything for it. Okay, with that out of the way, let's see what we have here with the Unitech Steam dock. Okay, so full disclosure, I actually already unboxed this once for a comparison review video that I have coming up in a few weeks with another dock. So make sure to get subscribed if that's a video you'd like to see where I compare different Steam docks to each other as well as performance, build quality, all of that fun jazz. So just wanted to make sure I put that out there. Thankfully, the packaging for these items comes in very simply. So repacking the item is basically 99%. It's 99% the same. And it's like, oh, like you can see like curvature on like the wrap because of where I pulled it apart. But otherwise it's the exact same thing. Got the user manual inside as well as this sort of like styrofoam like cover. A few points knocked off for e-waste there. Would definitely like to see something more like a recyclable plastic, but otherwise super minimal box design. You know, gotta love, gotta love that. So we're gonna put that where it belongs and that is in the recycling bin. Overall, a fairly simple setup and an overall fairly minimal environmental impact since there's not a ton of extra fluff in the box and this is a pretty solid one piece unit. As far as features, okay, so right out of the gate, this dock has all the core features that most users will need it for. It features a USB-C input for charging pass-through, three USB type A 3.0 ports for a mouse, keyboard controller, and any other accessories that you might wanna plug in, as well as an HDMI 2.0 port that's capable of outputting 60 frames per second at 4K and a gigabit ethernet port. The construction of the device is fairly solid and the dock is exceptionally light for something coming in at just one quarter of a pound total or around 112 grams. It doesn't feel super premium, but for the price, that's not really a big deal in my book. There are some slight stylistic embossments on top of the plastic and the USB-C pass-through cable or the Steam Deck tends to dangle off the back. There's nowhere to tuck it around, but it's only about seven to eight inches in total length. So it's not a really big disruption. However, if you do plan on traveling with this type of dock, make sure it stays in a friendly place because you'd want to be aware of any kinks that it might gain in the wire from just tossing it into your bag. Lastly, there are two rubber grips in the air area where the Steam Deck itself would sit, although they are a little bit in and I feel like after enough use they will wear down. But on the other hand, ideally your Steam Deck shouldn't be shifting around in this dock area too long. On the bottom, there are four rubber feet preventing the slipping of the surface. And I presume this is where the screws to open the dock exist if you wanted to open it and replace any ports. So let's see how this little puppy performs. Here we have some gameplay from a fairly demanding title on the Steam Deck, and that's Days Gone. As you can see, the Steam Deck seems to be performing as expected with occasional frame drops to 40 to 45 frames per second. However, the battery life does increase, which means that the dock is actually allowing enough wattage to pass through to not only support the system's current functions, but also allow for a bit of a trickle charge as well. So you are getting a reliable unit. This might seem like something worth pointing out, but I have used docks in the past on my personal time that only provide enough power Power to maybe sustain the Steam Deck, and sometimes they even lose power, so it is a relief to see that in this dock for the price point. I used a USB-based controller for the gameplay, and I wasn't experiencing any noticeable lag at all. And as for signal or color interference, there are no perceptible mutations to the signal as a part of using this particular dock, which is another relief to see as I've seen that in others before. The gameplay will not look as sharp as our control group, which is on the other side of me, and that's because that's using a 3080 Ti full-blown PC system, just putting it there for visual comparison's sake. The Gigabit Ethernet connection worked just fine and operated within the realm of my internet connection speed at my home. So there's nothing to worry about as far as that, unless you were trying to push 2.5 or 10G, which is absolutely insane to be pushing that towards a Steam Deck. I'm not even sure it would be able to keep up. Overall, the performance of the dock is exactly to be expected, which is, as I said before, a good thing and a relief for a device at this price point. However, we have something. 
Based on my knowledge of the manufacturing processes, I'm going to have to give points to the Unitech team creating a decent dock at a budget-friendly price point of $38.99. The construction is nice and the device works as intended, but I do like to be critical and I do like to provide actual feedback. So here are a few of my recommendations if they were to produce a second generation of this Unitech Steam Deck dock. First is finding a way to tuck the USB-C bus cable under the bottom or top somewhere so that when it's being transported, it doesn't create a kink of any kind. I travel a lot for work, so this is at front of center of mind for me. Second is lowering the height of the front lip of the holding section so that when the Steam Deck is picked up, it doesn't run the risk of grazing this little area. I have a screen protector on my Steam Deck and this has helped me prevent such an instance, but it is something that I notice, so it is something to be aware of that this lip is a little high off. And lastly, increasing the rubber surface area where the Steam Deck dock sits. I'm a little worried that over time these little feet will wear out and I don't think that it should dissuade buyers from purchasing this if they plan on predominantly leaving it as like a TV unit in their home but the Steam Deck will be sitting still and it shouldn't need too much grip over time but again just something to be aware of so something I'd like to see improved a little bit. recommendation is that if you are someone on the market for a Steam Deck dock and you are not looking for upgradability from something like the official Valve Deck dock or integrated expandable SSD storage that I've seen on other docks like JSOC and you don't mind a plastic design that doesn't have the most premium feel, the Unidex Steam Deck dock is a solid purchase at $38.99 pending any long-term changes that I will make sure to update the channel on if I come into any future issues. This will be the dock that I use for my TV setup for the foreseeable future. So I would recommend in this dock to somebody that's looking for a Steam Deck dock, but they're on a reasonable budget. So if you like this video, make sure to hit the like button down below. Follow me on Instagram and all the usual social media stuff and make sure to get subscribed so that you don't miss any future videos. I'm Professor Tech. I appreciate your time and I will see you next week. Goodbye, my friends. Oh, this was so fun. Ah, so different.